Let's try to solve this problem. Solve the following equations for x. So let's start with 1. 2x plus 3 equals 6 minus x. So to solve this linear equation, what we can do is to isolate or gather all the terms with variable x on one side, let's say on the left side, and gather all those constant terms as well on the right side. We can do that by applying transposition or addition property of equality. So I can transpose negative x to the left side or I can add x on both sides of the equation. So doing that, I will have 2x plus x plus 3 equals 6 minus x plus x. And simplifying, we have 2x plus x is 3x plus 3 equal to 6. And negative x plus x is 0 or we can simply cancel x. Next, we can transpose this positive 3 to the right side or we can subtract 3 to both sides of the equations. So doing that, we will have 3x plus 3 minus 3. So we have 0, we cancel already the 3, equal to 6 minus 3 on the right. Or 6 minus 3, if you simplify, it is 3. Finally, to solve for x, we can divide both sides by 3. So that we can cancel 3 on the left side. We will have x is equal to 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the final answer is x is equal to 1. Next, number 2, we have 1 half x plus 1 third is equal to 1 fourth x minus 1. When we have fractions on the linear equations, as in this case we have 1 half, 1 third, and 1 fourth, we can eliminate that first by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD. So the LCD of 1 half, 1 third, and 1 fourth is obviously 12, right? So we will multiply both sides of the equation by 12. So on the left side, you distribute this 12 on each term. So 12 times 1 half x, you can cancel the 2. 12 becomes 6. So you have 6 times x or simply 6x plus Okay, multiply also 12 times 1 third, so you will cancel the 3, then 12 becomes 4, so you simply have 4 times 1 or 4. Equal, so doing the same, you can multiply the right side also by 12, so distribute the 12 to every term on the right side, so multiply, let's start with 1 fourth x times 12, so you can cancel the 4, 12 becomes 3, so you simply have x times 3 or 3x. And lastly, multiply 12 by negative 1. Negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. Again, we can uh, isolate all the x on the left side and all the constant on the right. So you can transpose 3x on the left side or subtract 3x on both sides of the equation. So therefore, you will have 6x minus 3x plus 4 equal to... So you can cancel 3x minus 3x. It's 0. So you are left with negative 12 on the right side. So you can combine 6x minus 3x is 3x plus 4 equal to negative 12. Then you can transpose 4 to the right side or you can subtract 4 on both sides of the equation. So 3x plus 4 minus 4, so you cancel the 4 here. You will be left with 3x on the left side and then simplifying negative 12 minus 4, it is negative 16. Finally, to solve for x, divide both sides by 3. So, cancel 3. x is equal to negative 16 over 3. Next, we have 3 times the quantity 2x plus 1 plus x over 2 is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 1 plus 3 over 4. So, again, we involve here fractions, particularly x over 2 and 3 fourths. So, let's eliminate first the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD of the fractions. So, the LCD of uh, 1 half and 3 fourths is obviously 4. So, we can multiply both sides of the equation first by 4. So, distributing 4 to every term on the left side. So, you have 4 times 3 times 2x plus 1. So, you can just multiply 4 times 3 first. So, you have 12 times the quantity 2x plus 1. Plus, again, multiply 4 by x over 2. So, you can cancel the 2. 4 becomes 2. So, you simply have 2 times x or 
2x. Equal, okay, on the right side, you distribute the 4, multiply to every term. So, 2 times x minus 1 times 4. So, I just multiply the constant. 2 times 4 is 8. Then, times the quantity, x minus 1. Plus, okay, 3 fourths times 4. So, you cancel the 4. It's equal to 3. Next step is you eliminate the parentheses by distributive property. So, you distribute the 12. Multiply 12 times 2x. It's 24x. Plus, 12 times 1 is 12. Plus, 2x equal to, so again, apply distributive property. Distribute the 8. 8 times x is 8x. Then, 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 plus 3. So, you can combine similar terms first. On the left side, combine 24x plus 2x is 26x plus 12 equal to, again, combine similar terms on the right side. So, 8x, then combine negative 8 plus 3, it's negative 5. So, you can transpose 8x to the left side or you can subtract 8x on both sides. So, you will have uh, 26x minus 8x plus 12 is equal to, so cancel here the 8x, you will have negative 5 on the right side. Then combine 26x minus 8x, it's 18x plus 12 equal to negative 5. So you can transpose 12 on the right side or subtract 12 on both sides of the equation. So you have 18x, cancel the 12. Equal to negative 5 minus 12, it's negative 17. So finally, to solve for x, divide both sides by 18. So cancel 18. x is therefore equal to negative 17 over 18. Now, as a practice, you can solve these problems and just comment your answers.